into Hamilton where he checks out the Waikato Polytech School of Rock. If you want to become a rock star, you can forget Seattle because apparently in Hamilton is a school you can go to to learn everything you need to know. You're the course coordinator. You've got 25 students here all wanting to be rock stars. How did you choose them? Um, well, they submitted tapes and they, they uh, kind of wrote to us and asked if they could be rock stars and we said, we can arrange that for you. Have you got another one of those beautiful original things? That... So what sort of students have you got here? How, how old are they? Where are they all from? Well, they're from all different places. I mean, some people have been out <coughs> gigging and, and working as musicians for a couple of years and after school. And there are other people who have come straight from school. They're, they're, and there are a couple of people who are older who have been doing other things out there, you know, who have come back in. All of them, I'd say, are in that kind of um, post-school kind of what am I going to do with my life kind of phase of their, of, their, of their life. And this is a good time for them to come in here. Have you always wanted to be a rock star? No, you should have seen me three or four years ago. I had a, a crew cut and I wanted to join the Air Force. What were you going to do before this course came around? What, what were your hopes and ambitions for the future? Well, I was being a, I was a labourer in Auckland for a while, so I didn't really know. You didn't want to, you didn't want a career in music then? No, I did, I did, but um, I didn't know how to go about it, and then this course came up, and it was a perfect opportunity for me. It gives people a, a feeling of self-esteem. They've got a direction, they've got a talent that they can sell, and self-esteem rises, and the ball gets rolling, and life starts to happen for people, you know? <laughs> What sort of experience have you had before the course? Not really a heck of a lot. You in any bands yeah. or anything? No, oh, I played a school talent show, but that's about as big as I've ever got. I studied in England. I've done GCSEs, which is an English qualification in music. I was in a two-piece band, and um, we were doing like dance and, and soul and a few ballads and a, and a little bit of rock. <laughs> Do you have to be a musician to do the course? Do you have to play an instrument? It's a big advantage, and I would say that that's probably a prerequisite for getting on the course, is that you have some knowledge of an instrument. So it may be your voice, but you need to have a knowledge of some instrument here. Well, you can hear there's quite a bit of sound comes off here as well. If you want to pick up the, like, the picking of the strings, I'll probably use two mics on it. So basically we're picking up this bit for the picky stuff and this bit for the tone. How much does the course cost? Um, I'm not quite, quite sure the actual figures, but I think it's around 2700 per year. You know, it's expensive for us, but for the knowledge and that we're getting out of it, it's, you know, it's worthwhile. Top 50 this week. Boo. That top part of the chart seems to get manipulated by the companies. Actually, if you look at the top What's 10 the singles and the top 10 albums, they're totally different, eh? What does this mean? Do they teach you how to deal with the media? Do they teach you all the yeah, jumping they, around the stage? Yeah, they're giving us a few tips and that. <laughs> what about dress? Have they, they taught you how to dress? Is it like a rock star? Um, no, they haven't got to that yet, but I, I suppose they'll get to that. Is it teaching you how to write a, a top ten hit or is it, is it commercial jingles? No, it's sort of, it's based around like a commercial kind of song, so we could write a top ten hit, but um, really it's just sort of teaching you how to write good songs so that you'll be pleased with them. It's a business, I mean, we don't like to admit it, we say, oh yeah, we're artists, but, you know, it's business, we all want to make a buck out of it. Well, from what they've said, they seem to want to become rock stars. What makes a rock star? What makes a rock star? Well, I don't know what the secret ingredient uh, you know, is. I, I don't know what it is. But I do believe that a lot of it has to do with being, having original ideas. It's the guy who does it first or the woman who does it first who makes the buck. Like four seasons in one day. <laughs> so originality, I reckon, is what makes a rock star. And there are a few other things too, I suppose high self-esteem and sort of self-confidence and being a good communicator, being a good business person. Do you have any rock stars? We've got 25 rock stars here this year. 